Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Devotionals. Today is the Gospel of John, Chapter 9. Pretty straightforward. There's only one story, but it's a great one. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, as And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? So they see a man born blind, and they want to know, why is he blind? Did he sin or his parents sin? Jesus answered, neither hath this man sinned nor his parents, but this is the work of God that it should be manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Now, you've probably heard this before. Bad things happen to good people. Um, and bad things are not always a result of sin. Many times it's simply so God can get the glory. There are things that happen in life simply so God can get the glory out of them. And this is one of those moments. When he said, spoke this, he spat on the ground and made clay with spittle. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said unto him, go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is interpreted sent. He went his way and therefore and washed and came seeing. The neighbors therefore, and when they saw and they which before had seen him that was blind said, Is not this he that sat and begged? Some said, That is he. Others said, He is like him. But he said, I am he. Therefore they said unto him, How are your eyes open? He answered and said, A man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes, and said unto them, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And I went and washed, and I received sight. Then said they unto him, where is he? He said, I know not. They brought him to the Pharisees. You know, they brought the Pharisees to him that aforetime was blind. So they brought the man to the Pharisees. And it was the Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. So another Sabbath miracle. Pharisees are going to love that. Then again, the Pharisees asked him how he received his sight. He said to them, he put clay upon my eyes and I washed and do see. Wherefore, said some of the Pharisees, this man is not of God because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. And there it is. Another said, other said, how can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? And there was a division among them. So now Jesus is dividing the Pharisees. They have different opinions on him. They said unto the man that was blind, how sayest, what sayest thou of him? The one that opened your eyes. He said, he's a prophet. But the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received a sight until they called his parents and him of, and, uh, of him that had received his sight. So they brought his parents into the room. They asked them, saying, Is this your son he, who says that he was born blind? How then does he see now? His parents answered and said, We know that this is our son. We know he was born blind. But by what means he seeth, we know not. Or whom opened his eyes, we know not. He's of age, ask him, he shall speak for himself. These words spake his parents because they feared the Jews, for the Jews had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was Christ, he should be put out of the synagogue. Therefore his parents said, he's of age, ask him. They, they already knew about Jesus. They knew the reputation that Jesus had. They knew the consequences of following Jesus. Then again called they the man that was blind and said to him, Give God praise. We know that this man is a sinner. He answered and said, whether he's a sinner or no, I know not. There's some things I don't know. Here's one thing I do know. I was blind, but now I see. Then said they unto him again, what did he do to thee? He opened your eyes. He answered them, I told you already, and you didn't hear. Wherefore would you hear it again? Will you also be his disciples? Then they reviled him and said, Thou art his disciples, but we are Moses' disciples, for we know that God spoke to Moses. And for this fellow, we don't, we don't know where he, where, where he is. We, we, don't, we don't know. The man answered and said to them, Why herein is a marvelous thing, that you know not whence he is, and yet he hath opened my eyes. Now, we know that God heareth not sinners. This is the blind man speaking. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. Since the world began, was it not heard that any man openeth the eyes of the one that was blind, born blind? 
if this man were not of God, he could do nothing. So they were saying, we don't know if this man's from God. We don't know where he's from. We don't know who's from. And, and here's the blind man's response. He says, if, we, if this man were not from God, he couldn't do anything. They answered and said to him, thou hast altogether been born in sin, like they were any better. And dost thou teach us? And they cast him out. Jesus heard that they cast him out. Whenever he had found him, he said to him, do you believe on the son of God? He answered and said, who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? And Jesus said unto him, thou hast both seen him and talked with him. And he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshiped him. And Jesus said, for judgment, I came to the world that they which might not see, that see, might not see him. Uh, for the judgment, I came into the world that they which see not might see and that they which see might be made blind. And some of the Pharisees, which were with him, heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? Jesus saith unto them, If you were blind, you should have no sin. But now you say, We see, therefore your sin remaineth. So, this, in this story, we find this common element. It's called the law of victory. By healing the blind man, Jesus silenced his opposition. While they questioned the man who was healed, he could only declare the results. Whether he's a sinner or not, I don't know. But what I do know is that I was blind, and now I see. There are many times in life that we don't know. But in those moments, we turn, that, turn to that what we do know. We turn to the results. All I know is this, but what it's working. Some feel everything has to be explained, and that can be frustrating. Sometimes you just don't have to, you just have to say, I don't know, but what I do know is this, or what I do know is that. There's a lot of things I don't know. There's a lot of things in life that I don't know, but there are some things that I do know. So here's a question for you today. What do you know? What I do know is I once was blind, but now I see. Or as John Newton wrote, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. There's a spiritual blindness that we can have, but whenever we learn who Jesus is and what he came to do and how he came to redeem us, there is an opening of spiritual eyes to him, who he is, and what he means to us. Um, pray you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.